Okay, you see them everywhere this week. I'm talking about the stand selling fireworks, and it's all part of the fun and festivities for the 4th. But it can be a time of confusion and fear for our four legged friends. And joining me today with some tips about keeping your pets safe is Spencer Conivore from Pasco County Animal Services. Hey. Oh, hi. Cute. Introduce us. Yeah, this is Little Man. Little Man is currently available for adoption at Pasco County Animal Services. He's a young male cat, white with some red tabby right up top there. Super cute markings. Now, when he's adopted, he's going to be spayed. When he neutered, he's going to be vaccinated, microchipped, ready to go for Aww. a new family of his own. <laughs> By the way, I literally didn't know his name was Little Man. I Little thought man, you were just no, saying that. Just, and I thought Spencer was just going to like, name. he was teasing the name. Like <laughs> no, he didn't want to tell name. me until the cameras were this rolling. This is Little Man. Oh, do we know an age? Uh, probably about two years old. It's kind of okay. hard to tell, but he's younger than a kitten, but not quite an old cat. So a younger, a young adult cat, we'll say. Okay, well, of course, that is first and foremost, yes. defining little man a home. Yes. But the folks who already have pets, 4th of July, yeah. like probably the dreaded day for most animals, Yes, right? uh, around the country in our industry and in animal welfare, July 5th is historically the largest day for intake just because really? there's so many stray pets that get scared by fireworks, um, both dogs and cats, and it happens all the time. Without a doubt, the most thing we hear is, I never knew my pet would react that way. He, he's never gone missing before. You know, she's never run away. It just happens every single year. And so we always try a couple of things uh, and ahead of time. Make sure they're up to date on their identification, right? Right, little man? <laughs> He's like, and I want to get out of here so now. Any of those, of getting out of here. Any of those pets that have microchips, make sure that information's up to date, right? Make sure it's got your current phone number, your current address on there. We all hear the story, you know, you took the, the collar off the dog, give him a bath six mm -hmm. months ago, and you have yet to put it back on. Throw that collar back on the dog this weekend. Just anything you can do. If there's a hole in your fence, kind of patch it up. Anything you can do to try to make sure your pets are safe during this time of year. Well, and I like talking about the microchips. Yes. They don't do any good if the information online has not been updated, Absolutely. right? Absolutely, yeah. If you've gotten your pet years and years ago or you've moved or you changed your phone number, contact that microchip company. It takes all of five minutes to do and make sure your phone number's up to date, your, uh, for your address is up to date, oh. and emergency <laughs> contacts, too, in case you can't get in touch. You can put emergency contacts on there as well. Right, bud? Oh, I like how he's pawn there. Hey, Spencer, what about, like, in your home? I mean, say you know that it's coming. Like, what kind of precautions? You know, turn the TV really loud. Absolutely. Put the dog by themselves. I know. I mean, what can we do? So many people do so many fun things. I mean, there, there's actually YouTube channels you can play uh, <laughs> to, to have their pets calm, and so it, it drowns out the noise. Um, one thing you can definitely do is contact your veterinarian now. We always see people that wait till the last minute and they can't get in. A lot of times veterinarians can prescribe something very small and can help your pet out during this super stressful time. So get in touch with them now, and that can help too. That's a really good yeah. tip. I was going to say, you've heard about those, even animal gummies, I feel like we Absolutely, hear about these days, Absolutely, yeah, right? yeah. We are, I, I'm definitely not a veterinarian, but we have plenty of them, and, and there's great ones in the community. Get in touch with your vet. They can, definitely, they can definitely help you out, and it's super, super helpful, super easy. Gets the pets through this really stressful time. Well, you know what? I like being able to have the reminders and the tips for 4th of July, even in, like you said, you think the pet's going to be okay, still go ahead and yeah. take those precautions. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we hear it all the time. Like I said, oh, he's never run away before. She's never yeah. tried to escape. You never know when that new neighbor in town is going to blow off the right firework that just kind of freaks them out. We want our community members to have a good time too, but we want to make sure our pets are as safe as they can be while they're doing it. Hey, well, let's get back to little man. I mean, yeah. are we still technically in kitten season or, oh, yeah. or where? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we are in the heart of kitten season. I'm sure many of you have seen out in the community uh, kittens running around. Oh, you're getting comfy oh, now, huh, buddy? Look this at that. Black shirt is standing no chance here against <laughs> little man. Um, we're definitely in kitten season now, and it's the time of year where you're going to see more and more. Don't forget the number Number one thing, the best thing for little cats out there is to be with mom during this time of year. So if you see them running around, leave them be at first. Mom's coming around. She's going to take care of them until they're old enough to get fixed. If the kittens have truly been abandoned or if, there, or if something has unfortunately happened to mom, mm -hmm. give us a call here at the shelter. We can give you all the resources and information you need to become a foster parent or to care for those kittens yourself. And speaking of getting in touch with you, though, of course, at Pasco County Animal Services, um, Say you want to take little man home. Oh, yeah. What is the best way to adopt or get to know what animals you have available? Absolutely. We love folks that will make an appointment and come on down. You're going to get that one-on-one -on -one, uh, care with our wonderful animal care technicians, our customer service representatives. They'll walk you through the shelter. If you have somebody in mind like little man or if you're just looking around and want to see if there's somebody that might be great for your home, make an appointment on our website, mypasco.net slash PAS. Uh, and then you can make an appointment and come visit with us. You can also check on that website. It's got all of our available dogs and cats for adoption. Okay. Or if you want to come on down to the shelter, we're happy to help you.
you too. Oh, I love that. You're yeah. so easy to talk to. I know all the folks there are, so just oh, pick yes. up the phone or check out the website. And yes, I hate to say it, you do have white hair. Also. I do. It's, you know what? <laughs> occupational okay. hazard and we love it. Hey, you we know what? It. If that is the biggest yes. occupational hazard, I think we're a win-win. Yes. Hey, speaking of a win-win, we want to make sure and give a shout out to our friends at Pet Supermarket. Whether you're a pet swim, crawl, or fetch the ball, Pet Supermarket has your favorite brands.